Hey there, Game Over fans. I'm glad you're joining me back for another episode of my journey through dialysis. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through the uh, entire process of going to dialysis and getting hooked up and uh, all that stuff. So you're going to see a lot of uh, the ins and outs of the dialysis center and um, the port in my chest and getting it all cleaned and hooked up and everything like that. So, um, it, it, for some people this could be pretty interesting. Um, again, the whole purpose of this is because if somebody watches it and they're worried about going on dialysis, I was scared to death. Um, first of all, I went through some denial. I was like, what? There's something wrong with me. I'm, you know, and then I went through anger and then I went through acceptance and I was really, really scared. Oh, I can't tell you how scared I was about it. And you know what? It's four hours, three times a day. And yeah, that's a lot of time. And you got to plan trips around it, but there are dialysis centers like DeVita's in other towns and states, so you could actually still travel. But the important part here is that I'm not letting dialysis rule my life. It, it's a guest in my life. I, I control my life, not my dialysis. I have to work around it. I have to be cautious with it, but still... It's uh, it's my life, and I do it, and I accept it. And actually, it's four hours of, to me, total relaxation. I can watch movies. I, I generally sleep because I don't sleep well at night. Uh, being a liver and kidney patient, um, you get a lot of itching, and it itches all through the night. So I don't get a lot of sleep. So I tell you what, I go to dialysis. Maybe I watch one episode of Boggy's Burger, and then I'm out for three and a half hours. I'm just sleeping. It's pretty good. So, I'm not scared anymore. And if you are going to ever be on dialysis, or your doctor's telling you about dialysis, th there's a lot to it. There's the fitula surgery. There's uh, all sorts of different things. But it's not nearly as scary as it sounds. It's not. It definitely is not. And so, with that being said, let's uh, take a journey to the Vita. We are off to dialysis today. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to give you kind of like the rundown. Look at these bony fingers. They've taken off like gallons and gallons and gallons. Well, they measure it in liters, but lots of poundage is gone look at my face isn't puffy at all anymore my fingers are bony my my legs are pretty normal don't they yeah yep i just want to give a shout out to miss mandy right there who's been with me the whole time on this and is my caregiver and is the best wife in the entire freaking world i love her more than anyone else in the world and she really has been taking care of me. So we got this shirt. Oh, by the way, what's the temperature outside? 82. It's 82. And I'm wearing two t-shirts. And as you can see right here, a pair of fuzzy pants. Now, why am I wearing this? Because it gets so cold in dialysis. I will end up putting on a heated electric jacket and two blankets. But then sometimes I go and it's not. It's like nothing. I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. But anyways, we'll let you know when we get there. Oh, you can. So here we are. We are at the Vita. These are the guys that suck all the water out. Let's go inside. All right, so I first have to change my mask and I got to get my uh, temperature taken. Okay, 
Okay. Then, what we got to do is we got to weigh in. So this is the scale. Welcome. There we go. And I take that and I go to my chair. And I take that and I go to my chair. So I'm gonna go to my chair and I'll see you when I'm in there. Okay. All right, so I gotta do my blood pressure. My standing blood pressure. Feeling nauseous, is in the shortest nope. of birth or diarrhea? They they rock at this place. Let me tell you, if I had to go anywhere, this is where I'd go. This place rocks. Right, Anna could take his wing. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, can you tell me what I was when I left? When you left, you're uh, one twenty point six. So you left, you're a kilo. Uh, you're point one under. How so much you left? At. Hmm. Which is good. I peed like in the last twenty four hours. At least 23 ounces. Okay, you can see. All righty. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put my jacket on, and then I'll get in my chair. And then we'll call Nate. So today we are going to go for three oh, wait, liters. That's what they're going to take, three yeah. liters. Now, the other day they only took two, yeah. and it was I was out of here a little bit earlier and everything, but today we're going for three Think three every time and you're busy. Well, we did two on Wednesday. And how did you feel? Oh, I felt, I was just tired. Okay. Yeah. So we can do three today. Okay. We'll watch yourself carefully, observe how, how you feel. Because if we're getting closer and closer to a dry weight, your blood pressure is going to start dropping. Right, and I'll get cramps. And, yeah, cramps and all yeah. that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Keep out here did we ever bring that letter from Dr. Tegan? Are there some scissors right there? No, you didn't know where it was. Uh, can you pass me some scissors? Are you guys okay. Huh? Yeah, it's too tight. Did you get a call? Okay. So, um, there's, uh, it's official. They're making it, it's going to roll out November. Kaiser is not going to renew their contract with Davida. Oh. What that means for the patients is you're no longer be in network with us and you would have to pay your dialysis out of pocket. Now, um, I know that the insurance counselors are working their butts off to call every patient. And the right now the suggestion is, because I don't think Kaiser will go back on their decision, the recommendation we have is switch insurance. Now it's going to be tough because that's basically the two choices that Kaiser is giving, is either go to an in-network dialysis or change insurance. Right now, they have their contracts renewed with American Renal. The closest one is Frederick, and I can tell you they're probably full. So you do have up to 60 days after November. That's what I was told by the insurance counselor to have it switch over. So I would always start considering it and start looking around if you're eligible for Medicare, Medicaid. I am. They, they said I had to be here for 90 days first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's definitely something September that... September is 30 days. Yeah. Maybe we'll just make that. Day. Maybe, but I mean, I'm sure you don't just get Medicare like instantly. So. Uh, it's always something... So it's up to you guys. Um, I can also give a shout out to the insurance counselor to have her call you. Yeah. She probably hasn't yet because of that, the 90 day thing. But just put that in your radar because I have about 10 patients on Kaiser that I know is gonna be frustrated about this. So yeah. 
Why would they do that? It's because they're fuckers. It's the it's a corporation contractual thing with Davida. So you want some antibiotic cream on this stuff? What? I'm sorry, I was talking to Steph. Oh. She wants me to put some antibiotic cream on it. Um, just keep it dry. If you take a look at this as we zoom in, you can clearly see where the port goes into my chest. Now this has two lines that run down under the skin and then end right at the heart. That's where my blood comes in and out for this dialysis. Now this will come out when my fitula is actually matured enough to be used. Notice I got a couple of stitches holding this thing in. It doesn't leak infected, does it? No, it's good. Okay. Just a little irritated because of the stitches. Oh, now we're going to hook up all the good stuff. Got to clean it. No, this is where the magic happens. And you should ask her if she could have the insurance person.
somebody else who was supposed to have that conversation. Do you remember? About the genetic material, whatever. Yeah. Now that's hooked up. Let's check my blood pressure again. Yeah. There we go. That's coming out, right? Yep. So that's coming, then my blood coming out. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I doesn't put it in. Not coming back in yet. Nope. So you do the pump. Or go through the pump. And that right there is the filter. That's like my kidney. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, there it goes. Now it's coming back. Clean. <laughs> so we'll talk to you later. All right, everybody. Uh, that was the first half of the journey. I had originally planned to show you um, them taking it off and showing you more of the screen on the uh, dialysis machine. It will show you how much time you have left. You have to go for four hours, um, how much fluid they've taken off and things like that. But last night we ran into a little snag. Um, they have taken off from me close to 80 pounds of water. That's a lot of water. And when they take three liters a week, that can have an impact on your body. Okay, I, I was suffering from fluid overload. Now, everybody I see is like, God, you lost a lot of weight. You got, Yeah, my face isn't puffy. My there's, there are a couple negative drawback things. My arms are super skinny and my hands are all bony. Um, I'm starting to work with PT today on upper body strength and things like that. But I don't have the rest of this video for you because I fell asleep last night. And then when I woke up, I... I was looking around and everything was fuzzy. The lights were all like super bright and I felt extremely lightheaded. And so um, I grabbed one of the nurses and they came over and they were asking me about it. And my blood pressure had dropped to 80 over 57. So basically what that means is we're, we're getting close to my dry weight. We're getting close to getting all the fluid off. The one thing that um, you have to be careful with is low blood pressure can do all sorts of bad things. So they, they constantly look at it, you know, and if there's anything, any symptoms, you tell them right away. So what they did yesterday is um, I was so out of it. I was like very lightheaded. I couldn't get my phone up and recording it. They backed off. They stopped the water pull. I only, they only pulled like 1.2 liters yesterday. And uh, they were trying to pull two. But um, as soon as they stopped pulling the water and they just did the blood circulation, it, uh, I felt starting to felt that. <laughs> Sorry, I felt better. Um, not quite there, but I felt better. Um, still not well enough to grab the phone and, and do everything. So I will do the second half on another episode. Um, I was really, really um, lightheaded. Even walking out of there, it was a little unstable. And part of it is dialysis takes so much out of you. I advise anybody that's going, eat before you go. I had like three little pieces of pizza, the, the Chicago cut kind of square. Wasn't nearly enough. I just couldn't do it. I, I was all out of it. And on the way home, we stopped at Burger King and I got a double 
hamburger with just ketchup and mustard and onion on it because the pickles add to the sodium and other things add to the stuff. And so a, a double the hamburger burger can kind of meet within my tolerances of what I can eat. And I'll tell you what, after I ate that thing, I felt so much better, so much better. So you got to remember, you got to eat before you go and uh, watch your blood pressure when you're doing it. Okay. So until next time, I will uh, let you know what's going on and uh, be good, be safe and be strong. Bye-bye.